On Google, it says that quantum physics is a study of things that are very, very small. Yes or no? Technically, yes. I know a person, this is like a second cousin of mine, he's about yay big. Really small guy, but great guy. He's got some issues though. You know, he has like this fungus and he has this nodule that's on his shoulder here and it's kind of shaped upside down like a little scrotal, like a, it doesn't matter what it's shaped like, but he's got some issues, but he's a great guy. And if you want to be introduced, um, you know, something else you could study, I'm more than happy to make an introduction. No, 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 it's, it's okay. I mean, I, I hope your cousin feels better soon, but when we mean small, okay. we mean much, much smaller. So how small? You can show me with your hands, because okay. like a newborn baby, fetus? No, fetus? we're talking about even smaller than the sperm that made the baby, <laughs> just the particles. Sperm, okay. 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 Is physics, does that have anything to do with physiques, like quantum physiques? Is that really how you say it? No, no. Well, you don't have to make me feel like an idiot about it. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I did not write most of these questions because I don't believe in quantum physics or things that I can't see. So someone else wrote most of these and I'm just gonna do my best. Okay, great. Um, can you kind of just introduce yourself, say who you are and what you do? I'm Mozzi. I'm a quantum physicist. I pretty much spent years of my life trying to understand the universe. So I'm now leading a team of researchers and scientists and engineers towards building technologies that work on a quantum level, but their applications are mainly for the next generation of communication networks and cybersecurity. Wow. Einstein famously said that quantum entanglement is spooky action at a distance. I don't know what that means, but to me, you know, I had a similar thing growing up in my neighborhood. We had these little perverts that would sit in the trees or just near some kind of shrubbery and they'd watch you and they're not gonna touch you, you know what I mean? But they are gonna watch. And we would say, look at that, that spooky action at a distance. So what does that have to do with quantum entanglement? Really, really nothing. Okay. Explain the double slit experiment. Oh my God, all right. So this double slit experiment is quite- well, You don't have to talk about it. Who's making vagina jokes? Was this you or you? No, no, it's, it's, it's a real thing. As a matter of fact, it's the main experiment that entirely changed the way we understand the universe. Okay. We let particles like electrons or atoms or so put two slits in front of them and a, and a screen there. Are you saying it, sluts or slits? I just slits, be... S-L-I-T. Okay. Yes. So it's not S L U T. No, no, not, not, no. It's two very narrow, long holes. Well, see, there's a confusion. Very long. Well, there are some very large people in the world. You know what I mean? Like, okay, just continue. Yeah. So we give these electrons, these particles, like these two options. And then when we experimentally look at them, we realize that they took both. They actually simultaneously passed through both of them, mm -hmm. even though it should be impossible. And then very soon people realize that you can have more like three slits, five slits, ten slits, and the same pattern continues, which made us understand that if you had infinite number of these slits, which means nothing, like if you just let particles move freely, they simultaneously move everywhere in the space. Always. How could that trying. be? I know, right? We don't know yet. Okay. I mean, we, we understand from the math how it's possible, we just don't know why these things even needed to exist for the universe right. to work. Why was the atom bomb invented? To, to bomb people. Yeah, so it was invented for murder. Like pretty much all the bombs. I mean, isn't it wrong to murder people because they have a certain name? It's absolutely wrong to do that, yes. But what did Adam do to deserve this? I'm just fighting for justice for the atoms of the world. You know, and it's not even just the atom bomb, okay? Scientists in general are obsessed with atoms. Yeah, okay, so, it's, so there is Adam, the name for people, and then there is Adam, the, the thing that is inside us. So Adam is importance. inside everybody. Is that yes. why everybody hates them? No, no, we don't hate them. They're very important for us to have atoms. Okay, so is it like a sexual thing? Tea. I mean, look, the only thing that I can think that makes sense is that if it's like a Christian thing. But at that point, like, why is no one talking about Cain, Abel, Eve, except for, you know, 
the vagina cleanse people. They talk about Eve all the time, but that's a whole other thing. Not bombing people named Adam. We're using atoms to pump bomb people who have any name. Okay. It's totally okay. We don't discriminate against names. We just bomb them all. So everybody gets names. killed, not just Adam. Yes. So that's awesome. I'm glad to know that we're just killing everybody and not well, just I mean, people with a certain name. You can just name. call it nuclear bomb, you know, it's basically the same thing. And no one is named nuclear. So that's basically why we came up with yeah. the name nuclear to, to make sure no one people goes kill all the atoms in the world. 100%. What is something we don't understand yet scientifically? The trillions and trillions of stars and planets and black holes. And what, what type of hole? Black holes. So these wow. are the holes literally in the universe itself, in the space time, which is usually because a big star died there. Whoa, 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 okay. How do you even know it's black? Because you can't see anything behind it, so it's like wow. a black wall, but there is like nothing in front of it either. So Why does the color even matter at all? Because you can see the color black. That's, that's the whole point. We can see I that there's a black thing in the universe. Okay. We can go with any name you want, yeah? Uh, I don't know the butthole of space. It's a little less offensive than racial profiling. Yes, it's, it's huge. It's usually like a size of a solar system, like huge universal hole. butthole, massive, massive. Perfect. How important is science in general? It's the main important tool that we have to teach us about us. What if it was never invented? You know, what if science was never invented? Oh, we'll like definitely we, there's... be happier people now. Right, because I think of our brothers and sisters in the caves, RIP to them. I don't know what they were thinking living in caves anyway, but it's not like they were out there doing science experiments. Like food, you needed to survive. Science, you don't. So why is it important to study science? Like why should we care about it? Well, it turns out that even in that example, you do need science to have like good food or enough food for everyone because it quite literally helps save billions of people around the world from starvation. Well, okay. Okay, Buzz Lightyear, and be honest, is it based on a true story? I don't think so. It could be. It's in okay. like 300 years from now or something. So it might no, 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 it's about the moon landing, right? So the moon landing was fake? Because Buzz Lightyear, the astronaut, swears he stepped on the moon. Oh, uh, okay, you're talking about, you know, no, moon landing wasn't fake. So landing. Buzz Lightyear did land on the moon, he walked on the moon. No, moon landing is not fake, but Buzz Light wasn't the one who walked on the moon. Who the was? Moon. I swear to God, there was, Buzz was there. No, no, it's, it's, he it wasn't. All right, speaking of light, how fast is the speed of light? 186,000 miles per second. Is that faster or slower than Usain Bolt? Faster. The speed of light is technically the fastest thing possible in the entire universe. So Interesting. fastest person in all the other galaxies are also slower than light. What is time? It's a very good question, you know? It's one of the biggest question, unanswered questions yet. It I seems mean, like- Can someone just look at their watch? Like, I'm just wondering what time it is right now. Cause I have to go see that person about that, the horse thing. Yeah. There's a horse, it goes to bed at 9 p.m. It's a whole thing. Is it, what time is it? Like 9 p.m. Okay. Okay. But go ahead, if you wanted to say what you were saying, that's fine. Yeah, so you still don't get it. Time is that thingy that stops everything from happening at once and gives order to things because you couldn't have a universe if everything happened at once. Right. The thing we don't know really about it is that why is it something that only moves in one direction versus a space that is everywhere? Exactly. Is time travel theoretically possible? Theoretically possible in a sense that it doesn't break any law, but it breaks a lot of logics, especially when you want to go back in time and like murder your grandparents. Mm. For some reason, that's the first thing people thought. That's like, that's the problem with putting nerds in power. Everyone yeah. wants to go murder their the grandparents? grandparents. Like the first person who thought about it, I think it was because they really hated their grandparents. And then they were like, wait, then what happens to me? And then that turned into a big paradox now that we, we oh, wow. think math allows it, but logically it shouldn't be possible. Who would you kill? I don't think I would kill someone. Interesting. I would definitely, I would definitely kill someone, but who? I can't say. In case it's possible, I don't want to, you know, like indict myself already, you know what I Are mean? Are they alive now? I don't want to talk about it. It's really private. No, I'm just scientifically curious. Like that person is already dead, so no one is going to do anything to you. Sure, all of their kids and everything who are alive now, they're also gonna be dead if you go back in time and kill them. Thank God. But, but I wanna know 
it's an enticing proposition, I'll be honest. Um, all right, it's Okay. True or false? You faked an appendicitis to get out of going to school when you were a little kid. It is true. How can kids today go about doing the same thing? You should first uh, search for the symptoms. My biggest mistake was that I just started faking it without actually knowing what symptoms. It worked out, but it took like 24 hours and like 50 different doctors very, very confused. Like, does he have it or not? Because every yeah. other symptoms I was wrong. So you say start by Googling the symptoms so exactly. you know exactly what to say. Yes. Okay. And then commit. Okay. According to the internet, the hardest quantum physics question is, is the moon there when nobody looks? It is there when nobody looks. Yes. How do you know? Yeah, so... You're a we, quantum physicist. I know. So, so for example, we can like put a camera so no one is looking. So later but we look and see. But the camera's looking. So what level it's okay. So for example, we know that moon is there because of the tidal situation. It, it's effect on Earth. So that's also considered looking. So if you want to like get rid of all the ways that we look at moon, we should mm -hmm. also remove Earth. And in that case, we don't care if moon is there anymore or not. Are particle physicists really just making shit up these days? Like this Sometimes, sounds... Sometimes, yeah. Okay. I can say that because I'm not a particle physicist. It's like a exclusive club of like those smarter quantum physicists. It's like Gossip Girl. Pretty Woodson, much if it, every other one of them had a Nobel Prize in physics, yeah. Yeah, well they basically do have a Nobel Prize in being amazing, but. Let's talk about multiverses and simulations. Are you a believer? I am more of a believer of multiverse, mul multiverse in general, because I know this universe came to be through whatever process that we don't know. So to me, it's actually harder to believe that that process was unique. There is no reason that that thing should have happened only once. It's mm. more likely to assume that it happened many times and you're just one of those. Right. I just recently experienced something that's I mean, I would, I'm not gonna say it's proof of a simulation, but it's pretty much proof. I went to the store with the little girl I was babysitting, and then I went home and I was hanging out at home and I realized she wasn't there with me. What, what happened? You know, obviously there was a glitch in the system. She quantum jumped or something to another universe because I wouldn't have left her at the store. That's not something you would expect from a simulation. I do recommend, like, you do get, get just, just, go to a doctor, I don't want to say what type of doctor, but like... What type like, of doctor should I go to? The ones who are like more focused on like things happening here. Like plastic uh, surgery? You think I'm ugly? No, plastic. no, it's, it's more like these are could be early signs of like Alzheimer, for example. So it's very important to get checked on. I, I'm not saying you do have it. I'm just saying it's more likely compared to like living in a simulation. All right, can you talk about quantum jumping because I'm about ready to fucking quantum jump out of this room right now. See, that's exactly. So quantum jumping is that thingy that you cannot use to actually jump. Turns but on out. TikTok, everyone's always going into another universe just for a few minutes. How can I get in on that? You know, everyone's like, oh, I just went to a different reality for a few minutes. So those are all also the early signs of Alzheimer usually. Uh, it's in reality, we don't think such a thing is possible. You cannot just go to a different universe. I mean, I wish, but, or at least we don't know how to do it. So like people have a Maybe you have Alzheimer's. So what did happen to the little girl? Who's, whose girl was it? She's fine. I'll just say that. No, I'm just, I'm just a concerned citizen, you know, like a little We'll be girl concerned about missing. something else. All right, let's just wrap this up because this is getting really frustrating for me and let's just finish. All right, how do you think this interview went? Oh, it was just, just the most lovely. Really? Uh, yes. I okay. learned so much. You learned so much? Yeah. I really do my best. Did you know, you like I did a lot of research for this. Well, I didn't, it's but someone else clear, did, yeah. you know, and thank you. Okay, bye. bye. Ha <laughs> ha